Work is underway to transform the Delaware River waterfront. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is Robert Borski, chair of the Delaware River City Corporation. Thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Talk to us a little bit about this vision of transforming the waterways and the exact area we're talking about, because we have seen some development along portions of the Delaware, but you're talking about a different area. Yes, we're talking primarily about northeast Philadelphia from Allegheny Avenue to Grand Avenue or the end of the city. So from Port Richmond to Tarsdale or uh, the city border with Bucks County. We're taking an underutilized area that uh, had a lot of industry that is by and large moved out and we're looking at ways to redevelop and reconnect more importantly the people with the river. We had, uh, I, when I-95 was built it really took the river away from the people of Philadelphia and our mission is to try to bring that back. And what do you mean by bringing that back? How can people utilize the river? What types of projects would better enable people to use a resource that's right in our own backyards? Well, we're going we're to have a trail. We're going to have a walking, biking trail that will go through most of the area of northeast Philadelphia. Now, there is industry there, and the industry's there. We, we, we are happy they're there. We want to keep them there. Uh, so in, a, in any major city, you've got your... Uh, areas where you're going to have some difficulties, but we'll have trails along the river where it works and along the along the streets where it doesn't. The idea is to have an interconnectedness as well to bring trails together from all over the region so that people can hike or walk or, or ride their bicycles. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be part of the East Coast Greenway. There is a plan from Maine to Florida to have a greenway right along our riverfronts and we'll be a major part of that. It's been a long time coming, but we're making great success. Talk to us a little bit about funding, because a project of this scale takes a considerable amount of money. Where do we stand now in light of the economic conditions that the city is facing? Yeah, we're very fortunate. We've had great support from the elected officials in the area, and particularly Congresswoman Allison Schwartz and Senator Arlen Specter uh, have uh, uh, given us some $20 million in federal transportation funding to uh, extend the Delaware Avenue and to build trails along this w wonderful riverfront. In addition to the idea of the area being interconnected along this, this trailway that would run the entire eastern seaboard, are there economic benefits that come along with redeveloping a waterfront? Well, we think so for sure. And let me mention one other thing, by the way. We're going to have the trail, but we're also looking to connect the neighborhoods back to the river. As again, when 995 came in, it really, it really took the river away from us. And we're looking for ways to bring those roads and streets to connect back to the river for the public so that people can join this trail rather easily. So in terms of economic benefits, the idea of these big industrial development kinds of businesses are gone. What types of businesses could be a part of what you're looking at for the future of the area? Well, we think it'll be mixed use. Okay. There, there was great interest uh, when the idea first came about. We, uh, a number of developers came in and purchased some property. Obviously, the economy is really soft right now, and people have backed up. I'm sure financing has dried up. But we feel strongly that once the economy comes around, that this amenity and if these trail, this trail is built, there'll be a great opportunity there for any number of mixed use mixed uses, uh, and by and large, I think a lot of real estate. Uh, people like the water, and they like to see it, and they like to look out their wind at it. I mean, I don't know how many people I've heard who say, well, I'm moving to Jersey so I can be on the water. Well, we're, we're talking about having something right here in Philadelphia. What about the environmental concerns after years of large-scale industry in this area? How are we doing in terms of cleanup? Yeah, we're doing great. First of all, the water, don't forget the river itself. Uh, the, that the, the was the early home of all our industry in the city of Philadelphia, and that caused some pollution. Well, because of the Green Clean Water Act, a lot, the, that river is cleaned up, and a lot of the industry there is, is again, gone or, or way underused. So we're confident that we can get the funding and we will have the resources to make sure it's back environmentally sound. All right, please come back and give us an update. Let us know how this project's moving forward. we Will do. We're having great success, and it's a, and it's a great joy. Thank you so much. Thank you. We've been talking with Robert Borsky, chair of the Delaware River City Corporation. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition.